Hey guys, Bree the Coupon Queen. Welcome back to my channel. We are outside of Walmart to take advantage of our Ibotta haul. I'm still working towards my turkey bonus to unlock the free turkey. And I have a midweek bonus. Now I've heard again, a lot of people super mad with Ibotta that they got a dollar bonus for their midweek slash cornucopia bonus. And I get it, a dollar's not a lot, but a dollar is better than nothing. So if it doesn't work for you, definitely don't chase the bonus. The reason why it works for me is because I've already done seven rebates. So yesterday in my Walgreens haul, I posted an online deal for curbside pickup for Walgreens using all digital coupons and an online code that they have. I was able to grab $65 of products for like $8 and change out of pocket. It also had five or six Ibotta rebates with it, which track towards these bonuses. So if you chip away at it at the different retailers, of course you wanna always check Ibotta to make sure that you can get some additional cash back on deals that you're gonna be doing. So definitely check out my Walgreens video. If you haven't yet, I will link it at the end of this one. So that's why I am gonna be completing this. Not that I'm necessarily doing it on purpose, but there's been so many great deals with Ibotta, so it winds up working out. If you guys are new to my channel, take a second and subscribe. I would love to have you as a part of my channel. A lot of you guys have been asking about the engagement party, how it was. It was absolutely incredible. I shared a bunch of photos on my Instagram and just a little bit about what we did. So if you want some behind the scenes, definitely head over there. It's Brie Coupon Queen One is my Instagram. I share a lot more fun things, tips, tricks, and deals that I find throughout the week on my Instagram. So definitely head over there and follow me if you don't yet. And tomorrow is my actual 30th birthday, even though we have a hurricane coming. Thanks, Mother Nature. I don't know if Mother Nature is maybe telling me that my dirty 30s is going to be a wild one. I don't know. but So I'm probably not going to be doing anything tomorrow for my actual birthday because it's going to be like a category one is what I saw this morning. Big bummer. Um, but yeah, so that's fine. So if you haven't downloaded my... 35 freebies and discounts for your birthday, definitely do so. I'll link it below again in the description box. I'm gonna try to snag as many freebies as I can tomorrow if the weather's not crazy. If it is, maybe I'll grab it on Thursday or Friday, we'll see. Um, to celebrate my birthday, we are gonna do, I think, food and wine festival, which I'm really excited about. I've never done it before. I love food, it's like my favorite thing ever. So anytime I can do that to celebrate, definitely down. So again, I'll share some of that behind the scenes stuff on my Instagram. There is a printable breakdown and we are using 90% printable coupons and digital deals today at Walmart. So anyone can do these deals. Doesn't mean you should do the deals though. You guys know I always tell you only do the deals if it makes sense for you. That way you're not chasing bonuses and wasting money out of your budget. So any printable coupon is linked in the printable breakdown exactly where I got it so you can print it out as well. So let's go inside of Walmart and snag some amazing deals this week. So be on the lookout for any Halloween stuff. It is 90% off now at Walmart. There are a ton of really cute things that you can always save until next year. Pumpkin carving kits, they have a lot of really cool like cookie kits and things like that as well that you guys can grab. Let's see what other goodies. Ooh, black votives, love that. My store has like an entire aisle, like all still full. So I think I'm gonna snag a couple things. I'll show you if I wind up grabbing something really cool. Here's a deal you can do on oral care. So these just went up in price again. They were like eight something last time I did the deal. They're $9.96 now. So double check and see if this will be a good stock up price for you. You're gonna submit to the coupons.com app for $3 back. Then submit to Ibotta, you'll get $3 back as well. And you can submit to swag bucks. You'll get $2 back when you buy one. Makes your final cost $1.96. So still an 80% savings. Another deal you can do, in my opinion, it's not as good, but still another I bought a rebate if you're tracking to unlock your turkey bonus, or if you have a really good midweek or weekend warrior, grab a Colgate for $2.96. You have to print a dollar off one coupon from the coupons.com website. The coupons.com app is only available for Target for that rebate, so it will not work at Walmart. You'll pay $1.96, submit to Ibotta for a dollar back, makes it 96 cents. So for one more dollar, you can get the expensive um, Colgate toothpaste. So I would take this one over that one if you're gonna pick one. 
Here's a nice money maker deal you can do. I'm gonna grab these poise liners for 546. From the poise website, you can print this 225 coupon. Might be a different value for you. You could get like $2 or 250, just depends on your account. Then submit to Ibotta for a dollar back and you're gonna submit to Shopkick for 610 kicks, which is $2.44 back. Makes it free and about a 32 cent money maker. Now let's head up the travel and trial section for some easy Ibotta rebates. We have an Ibotta rebate on Johnson & Johnson. Now I scanned this one, it does not work. I scanned this one, it does work for the dollar rebate. That would make it just $1.16. Another deal you can grab is on the Huggies travel size. It's 97 cents. Submit to Shopkick, you'll get back 64 cents. Makes it 33 cents. Now we're gonna grab a Lysol uh, wipe here for 97 cents. You can submit to Ibotta. It works for the 75 cent rebate. It also tracks towards the Lysol bonus. When you do three rebates, then you'll hit the bonus. So I'm actually gonna grab two of these. In this deal I found from Lily in my couponing group, easy couponing for everyone on Facebook. It's completely free to join. If you guys want to, you can request it. Just search it on Facebook or it'll be linked below in the um, description box. Another deal you can do is on these super cute little disinfectant sprays. I don't think I've ever seen these before. They're $2.47. Submit to Ibotta for a dollar back. Counts towards both bonuses as well. It would make it $1.47. Now we're gonna grab some free vitamins. I'm gonna get two of these little critters. The immune C does work. They're $5.68 each. We have $2 off one printable coupons from coupons.com, so I'm gonna use two of these. Then submit to Ibotta for $2 back each and submit to Swagbucks for $4 back when you buy two. Makes your final cost completely free and about a 62 cent money maker. Here's an amazing deal on Mucinex. So this Mucinex DM is $7.28. Then you're gonna submit to the coupons.com app, you'll get $2 back. And you're gonna submit to Ibotta, you'll get $2 back. Okay, this is my favorite deal. We're gonna get a ton of baby stuff. So I'm gonna grab this Mito. Now keep in mind, it's with the other Nesquik and in the international aisle for me. It's not with the other like formulas and stuff. I thought that was kind of weird. So also I typed in Nestle powdered milk. When I typed in Mito, it did not show up on the Walmart app. So also try that trick. This is $5.48. You wanna grab one of these. Now there's quite a few ways that you can do this deal. So make sure you check the rebate on Ibotta for all of the different options. You have to buy one of option one, one of option two, and one of option three to be able to get the $10 back. So the other thing that you have to grab is the Simply Clean um, wipes right up here at my store. They are $5.82. The last product I'm gonna grab is this hypoallergenic wash. You can grab these if you want. You can do the cream, whichever one. These are just the cheapest two. And I have $1.50 printable coupons from my dove.com emails. I can finally use this coupon, I'm so excited. So let's go over the totals if you're doing your scenario this way. Okay, I also forgot to mention for the Huggies wipes, instead of doing the trial and travel size way, I'm gonna do it this way. So I'm gonna get the 64 cents back on these Huggies wipes. So total for all three of these products is $18.77. We're gonna get back $10 from Ibotta. We have a $1.50 coupon on the Baby Dove. We're also gonna get back the 64 cents for the Huggies on Shopkick. That makes your final cost $6.63 for all three products or $2.21 a piece, which I definitely think is a steal. So this can go in a baby shower gift basket if you have any coming up. Here's the second option you can do. So pick whatever option works best for you based on the products you need. You're also gonna grab a Huggy Snug and Dry, has to be a size four or bigger for $23.44. So you're gonna be replacing the wipes with the Huggies Snug and Dry diapers. So for this one, we are using the $1.50 coupon. So total for all of this is gonna be $36.39. We're also, you can submit to the coupons.com app for $2 back on the Huggies. Then you'll get back $10 from Ibotta for buying three and $4 from Ibotta for this Huggies Snug and Dry. On Shopkick, there's also 1,210 kicks for Huggies Snug and Dry diapers, which is $4.84 back. So that makes your final cost $14.05 for all three of these products, which again, I think that is an incredible deal because this box of diapers alone is $23.
you're getting all three products for $14.05. So pick whichever one works best for you and definitely pick it up before these deals are gone. Here's a decent digital coupon deal on Snuggle. So you're gonna grab two of this size for $4.77, submit to Ibotta for 50 cents back each. Then you're gonna submit to Fetch Rewards, check to see if you have a thousand point bonus. Limit is two, so you'll get a dollar back each, gives you $2 back. And on Swag Bucks, you'll get $2 back when you buy two. Makes your final cost about $2.27 each, so more than a 50% savings. So if you need Snuggle, definitely grab this deal. So we have the finished deals again. I'm gonna grab this one for $3.34. They reset the printable coupons for $1.50 off one. So I'm gonna grab this, or use this, sorry. Then submit to Ibotta for $1.25 back. Makes it 59 cents. I'm gonna do a different deal on the finished quantum. So I'm gonna use one of these coupons again for this product. You're allowed to use two light coupons. That's why I'm able to use two. Then submit to Ibotta for $1.50 back. Makes your final cost on this four or a dollar and twelve cents. Sorry, definitely two great deals. Here's another way you can do the Lysol deal. I prefer to do it this way because you're actually getting like a decent size versus the travel size, but you can pick whichever way works best for you. So I'm gonna grab two of these, they're 347 each. Submit to the coupons.com app for 50 cents back on one. I'm gonna try to see if I have a 50 cent coupon for the other one. Then submit to Ibotta, works for the 75 cents back rebate each. And I'm gonna submit to Swagbucks for $4 back when I buy two. Makes your final cost 48 cents a piece. I think that's a really, really good deal. Another really, really good deal. All digital is on these hefty slider storage bags. Grab two for $2.78 a piece. Submit to the coupons.com app for $2 back when you buy two and submit to Ibotta for $1.50 back when you buy two. Makes your final cost $1.03 a piece. So even cheaper than the dollar store, which is now $1.25 a piece, and it's a bigger box. So definitely grab them at Walmart this week. All right, everything is scanned in. We are at $89 worth of products, which is amazing. I have mostly printable coupons, so you guys can do the same deals that I'm doing. And I'll let you know, as usual, at the end, if I run into any issues with the coupons to give you guys a heads up. So definitely stay tuned. Then we're going to go over the final cost of today's haul. Okay, so funny story. So I shared on my Instagram that I got this new dress. You can't see it, obviously, because I'm sitting down, but got this new dress from Amazon. Totally loved it. Walking around Walmart, feeling like a million dollars, and I get to check out, self-checkout, because I always do self-checkout at Walmart. And this woman comes up, and she's like, you know your tag is still on, right? Like, it's, it was like a big tag. Like it was, like, showing. I was like, I was like, ew. Here I am thinking I'm just, like, the cat's meow. And I just had this huge tag sticking out the back. Not that it's, like, a huge deal. But anyway, I was like, no, can you please take it off? So she took it off. So that was really nice that she said that because I had no idea. And I would have went around the rest of the day, like, not knowing I had a huge tag on my back. Anyway, um, check out what amazing. Every single coupon worked what i also grabbed some really really cute things for halloween so these so cute just little clings for the windows um there's a couple other things that i grabbed also these were like 39 cents so i grabbed two i grabbed one that was the ghost one that was the pumpkins i thought that was really cute can use that next year i also grabbed two of these spooky mats um they had no price tag on them i tried to look them up i have no idea how much they are or how much they technically should be uh, one of the managers was actually in the section, thank God, because I was like, hey, like, there's no tag on this. I don't know what I should do at checkout. I know they're going to spend 30 minutes trying to figure it out for me. So, like, if we can't figure it out, like, I just won't buy them. And she was like, no, take a picture of my name tag. Go up there. Tell them I told you that it was a dollar. That's totally fine. So, I was like, all right, I'll try. So, I get to checkout and I, you know, flag over the self-checkout cashier and I was like, hey, Tree said it should be a dollar. And she was like, oh, I can't do that. I can't do that. And it's like, I don't know why. I feel like Walmart just scares the crap out of their employees that they're so afraid of like getting in trouble and actually like providing customer service and going above and beyond because they're afraid they're going to get fired. And like, that is not a good way of like managing and empowering their employees. I don't know. So still took a minute they, this one had to ask this one who had to ask this manager who had to ask this. this, this so it's like, everyone has to make sure they're covering their butt to sell me something for a dollar when another manager said I could, I don't know. It's just weird. I don't, don't know why Walmart is like that. 
Anyway, so I grabbed two of those. I'm gonna put one in the lanai next year, obviously, and then one out front. I just thought they'd be really cute. So that went perfectly. So let's go over our final cost and how we submitted our receipts to all the apps. So, paid $71.55 out of pocket. I've been trying to use Fetch Rewards gift cards like you guys know I always do, and I don't know what is going on with them. Submitted for a CVS gift card on Sunday. It's Tuesday, still don't have it. Submitted for a Walmart one, still don't have it. I'm like, what is happening? Like, I've used Fetch Rewards for like over four years and never had an issue with getting a gift card fairly quickly, like 20 to 30 minutes, maybe a few hours, but it's been three days and I just still don't have these gift cards. So not sure what's going on with them, but heads up on that. Okay, so submitted to Shopkick for 1,670 kicks. I did some scan kicks while I was in store as well. That's $6.68 back. Ibotta, it did not catch the snuggle again. I don't know why, but it keeps not catching the snuggle. So I had to add that. Got back $27.75. Then for bonuses, I'm getting the Lysol bonus and the uh, midweek cornucopia bonus. Fetch Rewards, it got back $2.32 back on the snuggle and Lysol products. Coupons.com, I got back $2.50. Then on Swagbucks, it didn't accept a single thing that I sent in, so I had to request a review for the $15 worth, so hopefully I should get that back. If not, I can submit a ticket. They usually always honor it, um, so that'll be $15 back. Makes my final cost for $89 worth of products, $11.55, which I think is a really, really great deal. Now, none of that does include the Halloween stuff. Obviously, that's something separate, so that would be coming out of a separate budget. If you guys have any questions or anything, drop a comment below. Don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoy these videos and I will see you next time.